Well, we have a brisk one this morning. I think we're down to minus 17. It has warmed up, was down to minus 24 this morning, first thing. And I think uh, what's supposed to be happening is we're so, supposed to warm up to minus seven. So it'll be pretty warm compared to what it has been the past little while. I don't think we've been into the uh, minus single digits for a few weeks now. So uh, we had another bout of minus 35, 36 there a couple days ago. Um, I missed that one though. I really would like to come out for that, but uh, I missed it. So next time, lots of time for that, lots of winter left. So I think we're not even in the winter yet. We're still in the fall. So, but I mean, comparing to last year, this time, I think we had, uh, we had two feet of snow at this time easy. And now we have maybe a couple inches, three or four inches or whatever. So we're, we're lacking in the snow, but we've had, had the cold spells. Uh, I got a couple projects for today. I want to make my little folding table and uh, make some shelving units just to help organize the cabin up a little bit and uh, go from there. Have a nice meal planned for tonight. Kind of a chicken stew and I got some uh, some scones for dessert. So looking forward to that. Anyway, we got to get uh, we got to get some heat going because although it's only minus 17, it's still pretty cold and uh, just like to get the cabin started heated up. It's still morning. I think we're about 10 in the morning right now. Um, so I got plenty of time to get the cabin nice and warm for tonight. And uh, I'd also like to start the out outdoor fire pit, get a good bed of coals going.
All right, so the cooking oil again. Best way to do it, pot of water on the stove. Let it heat up gradually. Oh, it is heating up nicely in here. I think outside we're still at minus 18. And so far we got it heated up to plus four. So I think it'll be time to start moving my stuff in from the truck, or from the truck to the inside here. Supplies for the night and uh, paper towel, paper products because I'm running low. Let's see here. We got some uh, expired frosted flakes for the critters outside. My night light. Grade the mix. Some vegetables. Tonight supper. My little fan. Charged that up last time I was back at the house in town. For now, what I want to do is kind of declutter this uh, counter. I'm going to put a couple shelves here, trying to organize the spot a little bit. So we have about 36 inches that I can work with, and that works out good because I got a piece of wood that's about 72 inches. So we'll cut that in half and then. Uh, fashion up a couple shelves. better organized now put uh, one shelf here and then I made one shelf over by the bed so I can put stuff on that over there too so I'm gonna cook up a little lunch here and then uh, get working on my folding table
lunch today. Just some New England clam chowder from a can and a chicken salad sandwich. Nice and simple. Here somewhere, we got the cup. Just don't have the lid. So let's wait for that to heat up. It's lunch. It's about uh, one o'clock now. Have some lunch and, and carry on with um, with the folding table project. That soup is really good. No homemade or anything, but from a can sitting in front of the campfire, really good. Turned out to be a gorgeous day today. I think we are we are above minus 10 for sure. I'm quite comfortable sitting sitting in front of the fire here, with just a hoodie on. Um, the fire's throwing off enough heat, and uh, the outside temperature is not as cold as it was this morning. It looks like the uh, the frost is coming off the trees. Kind of looks like it's snowing right now. I'm looking in the sky, there's not a cloud in the sky. Sun's out, super bright. Mm. Just have a bit of lunch here. I I managed to get uh, those two shelves up. It looks really good. Mm. So not only does it organize the uh, cabin a bit, it actually uh, gives it a bit better atmosphere as well. A little more organized. I still got to work on that top bunk. I want to declutter that and uh, roll out that foamy on top. And uh, depending on time, I might throw up a, a rail for the top bunk for somebody to sleep up there if need be. Just make it more functional. But I want to get my uh, folding table done today. We'll uh, be able to utilize that maybe tonight. Relax by the uh, by the wood stove, folding table with a nice chair. Mm. What a great combination! Chicken salad sandwich and New England clam chowder. Looks like I'm running low on the weight gas here. Got enough to get me through uh, tonight for sure. I'll have to pick up another tin for next time I'm out. Boy, it sure warmed up. Minus 7 right now. I think it's holding steady. I think we're supposed to get back down to the minus teens again tonight. And I think the forecast is calling for snow starting at midnight. So it will be kind of nice to maybe wake, wake up to some snow in the morning. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. In the morning sometime. So we'll have to see if that happens. Oh, 
Okay. There's a fold up little table. It's got uh, those legs temporarily on there for now. The uh, design I originally came out for the legs. Um, I kind of didn't like those ones either, that design. So I'll just keep that uh, like that for now. I have to take those legs off in order for the table to fold down. So I'll just uh, leave it like that for now until I think of a, a different idea. I'm sure some, I'll figure something out. And uh, ended up putting up a little shelf by the bed. Put uh, you know my stuff, I got my speaker there and it, uh, solar power power bank and my phone and eyeglasses and there's my um, my night light and then uh, this is the shelf here for getting stuff off the counter yeah overall those three additions I find have uh, actually made this little cabin kind of more of a cabin it's funny how that uh, how that worked oh and I got uh, this mess here cleaned up so I got uh, got my foamy kind of cut the size and in place I kind of still want to put a railing along the top here in case uh, there's another person sleeping here okay so for tonight whoops, I'll be doing up a bit of a chicken stew got a pack of chicken thighs I'll be dicing up keeping up and stewing up with these vegetables in a little Dutch oven Everything smells great so far already. Between the, uh, the bell pepper and the onions here, very aromatic. Simmering away. I'll give her a little more time and then I'll uh, put the gravy thickener in it. Get that gravy nice and thick. It should be ready. It's been on for about a little over an hour. Simmering away, so. Um, yeah, we'll give her probably five or ten more minutes before I thicken her up. All right. Oh, wow. That looks great. Scoop here. Oh, she's thickened up nicely. Oh, wow, you can really smell those bell peppers. Mm. 
kind of a sweet, sweet aroma. No. That looks great. Now we get to try out a new table. This here chair is a little short. So when I get a proper sized chair out here, it should be at the right height. Right now I'm, I feel like I'm sitting in a kid's, kid's chair. I'll have to make it work for it tonight. Whew. <laughs> I need a booster seat. Mm. Oh yeah. That's good. You can really, uh, really notice those bell peppers. It's so sweet. So good. Yeah, not expecting a cold night tonight. I think we're going to get down to minus 13 or 14. And even by the morning, it's supposed to warm up to minus 9. But with that, uh, we have a bunch of snow coming, I think. I think this uh, forecast starts snowing around midnight. And it's supposed to snow from about midnight till 10 in the morning. So we have 10 hours of snow. I'm not sure how how uh, how much snow we're going to get but uh, from the looks of it looks of it the system coming in is fairly significant so we'll see what uh, materializes from that end up waking up to a fresh blanket of snow outside that'd be nice well it was a gorgeous day at the cabin today ended up getting a couple things done around the cabin that I wanted to get finished uh, one being this this folding table and a couple of shelves. And I'll tell you what, it made a big difference in the uh, atmosphere of this little cabin. It's uh, it's almost like it's an actual little cabin now. Um, before it was kind of missing that that uh, something. But uh, with this table here, it's not a big table. It's only two feet by two feet. But I mean, it's a place to place to eat, place to have my coffee, right in front of the fire, so I can enjoy the ambiance of the flames. I got my uh, shelf by my bed, so I got uh, my stuff on there. I got speaker, charger, and a couple other things. My nightlight, and then the shelf up by uh, above the counter there. That uh, just decluttered that whole area. It looks well organized now. It's like everything's got its place now. And I ended up cleaning up uh, the top bunk there, so it's uh, it's ready to go if need. Anyway, great day at the cabin. I'm hunkered down for the night. In uh, inside, I got uh, enough wood, plenty of wood for to last me throughout tonight. I don't think I'll be burning a lot of wood tonight. We're not expecting to get very cold. I think minus 13 or minus 14, but by the morning it's supposed to warm up to minus 9 or minus 10. Around midnight, we're supposed to be getting. It's supposed to start snowing, so when I get up in the morning, it'll probably be a fresh blanket of snow. So looking forward to that. I don't think I've been out here too often when uh, it's snowed overnight like that. Um, th like I said earlier on today, this time last year we had like two feet of snow at this point. Um, I wasn't able to come out here uh, for most of the late fall because of work. But this year, I've got a different schedule. I've got more time to come out and enjoy, enjoy the cabin. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, I think uh, I'll just finish my hot chocolate here. Uh, watch, Continue watching the fire burn and then eventually uh, crawl into bed and read her book or even watch a movie tonight. I think I, uh, I uploaded a, a movie from the 90s onto my phone. Um, it's called Rob Roy. I'll uh, end up watching that tonight. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good old movie. So Anyway, I'm going to call that for tonight. I um, hope everybody has a good night. I know I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, we'll see you in the morning.
Well, we got a little bit of snow last night. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting a bit more, but we probably got uh, two inches of snow between midnight and probably six in the morning. Um, I was up uh, a couple times throughout the night. I think uh, I went to bed, finally went to sleep around 9.30, and I woke up at 2.30. And uh, the cabin was cool. It wasn't super cold. I think we were probably plus nine. So I got and checked the stove, and there was uh, a couple embers in there, a couple coals. So I threw, uh, had some uh, cedar kindling in here, and I just threw it in there, and it ignited right away. So restoked the fire, loaded up the, the firebox there, and crawled back into bed. And I think I got up uh, around 4:30 just to check on it. Woke up, threw some more wood, and then uh, slept till probably seven o'clock. Got up, took a look outside. It was just a little bit dark, so just kind of putzed around around the cabin. And then uh, when I got a look outside, it was we saw there was a bit of snow, but it had stopped snowing for a while. So I'm just gonna enjoy a coffee and have a scone while I'm waiting for my porridge and enjoy the ambiance of the fire. Yeah, this little table sure makes a difference with the breakfast, I'll tell ya. <clears throat> Porridge in front of the fire on a table. Deluxe. Well, another great trip out to the cabin. What a relaxing time. It's so peaceful out here this time. I didn't have to worry about uh, getting up and uh, making sure that fire was stoked throughout the night. Although I did get up a couple times. It's just, just a little more relaxing when knowing not it, knowing I don't have to get up, you know, uh, to ensure the fire is is not out. Because uh, in temperatures, uh, extreme cold temperatures, it's it gets a, to be a pretty serious situation when uh, when your fire goes out and your cabin is cool, cooling down really quick. So it's nice and relaxing to um, just uh, not worry about the fire so much. Like I said, I did get up a couple times and stoke it, but that's just more of a habit. And uh, I kind of like waking up when it's plus 20 in the cabin rather than, you know, minus three or, or worse. Anyway, it's a great trip. Uh, got a couple things done I want to get done. It actually made the cabin a whole lot better. It's uh, more enjoyable inside the cabin now that I have um, a little table to sit at enjoy my coffee and my breakfast and stuff like that and uh, I have a couple of a uh, couple of new shelves where I can declutter declutter the space a bit so it's just more enjoyable to be in before it seemed it was it was the inside of the cabin but it seemed more like almost like a storage place with all the stuff <laughs> anyway it's more organized and it's more more comfortable to to hang out in anyway I think that's it uh, for this trip like I said, it was a great trip to come out. Nice uh, nice little snowfall throughout the night. A um, couple inches of snow. I was expecting a bit more, but looking at the radar, it looked like there was a, a bigger system coming in, but we'll take what we can get. Like I, I said before, it's not not the same as what we had last year. Like uh, This time last year, we had easily two feet of snow, so we'll just uh, keep chugging away at winter here. Got a lot more, a uh, lot more time in the bush for uh, the upcoming season.
plenty more videos. Anyway, if you made it with me that this far, thank you for joining me, and we'll talk to you later.